We are back and faster than ever. What's up, guys? I'm Joel and I'm Sean. Firstly, I want to apologize for not posting a video in some time. Uh, I was away in Thailand for my internship. He abandoned me. So now we have a lot of restaurants lined up for you guys. And um, we are really excited to continue posting more restaurants for all of you, right? Yes. Today we have a very special restaurant lined up for you and um, this restaurant is very special to Sean because he has been eating at the place for a really long time. And it's also one of Burdock's hidden gem. So I hope you're ready to eat because it's <laughs> Makatai. Okay, so today the place that we'll be bringing you guys uh, previously was known as Fatty Wing, but now it's hidden like in a very small place in Bedok called uh, Leong Hua Seafood. Why this place is very special to me is because when I was young, my mom would always bring me to this place for supper, and unfortunately they closed down. In uh, the previous shop was in Gilamat Road. They closed down, and then just maybe about three weeks ago after I came back from my internship, we miraculously found a place. To cut the whole story short, um, my family was actually there for another food stall and then I was looking around for like table right and then I saw that everyone's table had ha chong kai and then I saw that the colour was like so orange, you know normally when you have ha chong kai it's not so deep and you know that the flavour is good when it's so deep right, the colour. So yeah, I was telling my mom we need to get this ha chong kai and my mom was like hey you know order for me a hor fun when you edit and when the food came from the smell we knew that was fatty wing this is fatty wing food and when my sister tried just one spoon of the hor fun right she cried it's been really crazy and you know we brought like our whole crew there all, all of them and they agree that you know it's one of the most intense zu chai experience you will ever have. So let's jump right into it. Now the first dish that we want to talk about is ha jong kai. It's a pretty famous dish in Singapore. You know, just about any zu chai store you can get prawn paste chicken. But this one is a bit special because you know like the taste goes all the way to the bone and it's so impactful. It's so well actually, what I really like about yeah. this place is that the cuts of the chicken is so odd. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. realize that, right? It is. Like kind of special because it's so weirdly cut, but mm. wow, the marinade is like yeah, it's like for normal tuta stores, they always marinate the outside, mm -hmm. and then when you get to the actual meat, it's just just eating a normal chicken. But this one is different. Like you can literally when you eat it, right, you can see the orange mm. hue going into the. It's so good and the flavor is very deep. You know, it's it's real. It's a real complex flavor. It's not just prawn paste. I don't know what else they put inside. It's right. really some like soy sauce, that kind of thing. So basically, this dish of prawn paste chicken comes and like it's this weirdly deep orange color. It looks kind of toxic almost, right? True. And then you pick it up with your chopstick or your fork. If you don't know how to use chopstick, I just use my hand. <laughs> you take a bite of this crispy hot prawn paste chicken and deep inside, you know, you taste this like red colour, uh, soft marinade. Uh. It's second to none. I can tell you guys safely, I've eaten a lot of hachong kais in my day. Mm. It's really, when I saw it, when I smelt it, when I ate it, it's spot on. Okay, so like going on, we have the next dish which is the beef kailan. Uh, it looks oh. really innocent, it just looks like some vegetable and some beef thrown together. Guys, this... Oh. This beef kailan is like... Crazy. Throughout the entire meal, I was telling the best kind of food is the kind that when you eat and you don't even understand what's happening, you like. You look at it and you're like, oh, this is just like another normal beef yeah. kailan. In fact, it looks a bit plain. Then you take the beef kailan and then you put it in your mouth. And it's like. You mind blown. The secret is in the sauce. When you guys order right, fat dip, right, always ask for more sauce. Always. Always. But the best way I can des describe it to you is just that it's a very sweet and savoury kind of sauce mm. and it's amazing and it's complemented with the beef slices which are also like succulent and soft a little bit of bite to it you know they're not the most tender beef but I, I kind of like the bite mm. and it's not beefy at all it's so well marinated if you do not try this you you are just missing out in life you know there are some dishes out there like you know what i can do this better at home this one no you just pay the money you just eat yeah. okay so we come to now the staple Oh. Which is the whole fun, the beef whole fun. At the start, to be honest, I wasn't a fan of beef whole fun because I am not a whole fun person. You know, I used to be a heavy smoker. My my tongue is kind of numb. But like when we were filming for this, and then uh, we ordered whole fun for the second time because we didn't have enough. We ate all of it. <laughs> they just finished cooking, I'm sure, and then like full of the wok hey, the sauce came out 
deep black, right? It was like night. Okay, black. so when, when I told you guys that I, when the first time I found this shop, the how I knew this was Fatty Wings Ho Fun, right? Was how black the sauce was. Okay, normally Ho Fun out there, a lot of places they were they do the Watan style, which is the the sauce with like egg. And there are nice ones out there, but this one doesn't do that style. But it's still the wet kind of uh, Ho Fun. To describe the taste of the Ho Fun to you in the best way possible is like you take this scoop of Ho Fun mm -hmm. and you put it in your mouth. And the first thing you notice is the impactful salty taste of the black sauce with the wok hay taste and this this taste you cannot fake it. It has to be from like yes. years and years of cooking. It's a hearty meal. I learned this from my mom actually, uh, to eat Ho Fun. My whole family normally just eat the Ho Fun normally, but like there was a few years back my mom she ordered the pork lard, right? it's called Tiao Zha. Although like it's really unhealthy, it's really, really like really heart stopping unhealthy. You eat the whole fun on its own and it's like good. But then when you put the lot lard right, it's just like oh, good man. Good and then it goes through. As if the sauce was not complex enough. You put in <laughs> the pork lard taste. And now not only is it creamy, it has a little bit of the porky taste to go yeah. out with it. So yeah, you know, our fat fat tip for the Ho Fun is to put the blood inside. Just don't even stinge on this, you know. <laughs> don't even just try to be health conscious. Yeah, just <laughs> ask for a bowl of pork lard. Take it, look at the Ho Fun and just... <laughs> you stir it, I promise you the best Ho Fun experience of your life. That's what I normally do, I also take the Thai lard sauce and oh, put yeah. it with my Ho Fun. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this this restaurant has a lot of other good food, but these are the three staples that my family orders since we were young. But they are famous for the tzu I think tzu you really have to do the basic dishes well. Mm. You know, like they, they say you can taste the expertise of a chef by how he cooks his fried rice, yeah? Right. So you can taste how good it is because they do their simple ho fan kai lan, their, their ha jung kai lan. Alright, so you know, in conclusion, um, the, this place has really good ha jung kai. Not really the best texture, but you know, it has this really strong, intense flavour, really deeply marinated, and this like crazy cuts of meat, and I promise you, you will love it. Moving on to like the kai lan. The sauce is the one that, that binds everything together, the kai lan, the, the, the ginger, the carrot, the beef. It's like a whole family. They're happy in the plate. And yeah. when you eat, you're also happy. So going on to the ho fan. For me, it's still good because they managed to keep the same flavor for like how many, like 10, 10 over years. They have a fatty wing in Chinatown. They serve the same kind of food, but it's not the same kind of flavor. This one at Bedok. All the flavours are exactly as I remembered it. That's why my sister cried. It's this really strong salty flavour with a very strong wok hay and uh, the, the black sauce will just like kill you right No, probably, probably the lard will kill you. <laughs> the, true. The lard will, the kill, lard will kill you, but it's worth the death. So, that's all we have for you guys this week. We, and we hope that you will go down and try this place and that right. you enjoy it as much as we do. And if you guys like the food, please do leave us a comment in the comment section below. Give us a thumbs up or, you know, like the video yeah. or subscribe to our channel for right. more videos. We're trying to push it out, you know, as much as possible. Promise. Promise. Uh, <laughs> once, twice a month, I guess. <laughs> and if there's nothing else, then... Stay fair, Singapore! Singapore.